Well, say hello to Thomas the Turtle. We were walking to school this morning and just up the side street he was sitting in the roadway looking like a rock. I wanted to put him back in the on the hillside where he probably came from. Here comes Dookie. He's trying to figure this out now. Margarita insisted that we take him home. And I said, well, what's he going to do at home? She said, he's going to feed him tomatoes. I said, where are we going to keep him? We have a cement patio in the garden. If we put him in the garden, he'll eat the garden. And besides, how's Duke going to get along with him? Duke is investigating this moving rock right now. I'm sure he's going to start to paw it and try to turn it over. Well, maybe not. But he's certainly curious. And I'll try from a, a different approach. I decided to give him a name because if I give him a name, then I won't eat him. <laughs> not, that I, not that I'd eat turtle anyway. Huh? Duke is aroused. Tomas is probably paralyzed. That's, do I run? <laughs> do I just drop my shell? What is this animal? Dookie? No. It's tortuga. See? Si, tortuga. Mm-hmm. Tomas has opted to go into his house, although his little head is sticking out in the front. Let me get around the other side of this tree here. Dookie? No. We'll see. We'll see. Duke is going to bark. The <laughs> ah. is going to head for the woods. Get around the side again. Looks like a fairly safe place to be, he thinks. <laughs> he doesn't feel all that, all that comfortable. There's not much here except this garbage can next to me. Garbage can. I'm sure he can climb this little hill. Then he runs into these cane poles that we use to hold up the clothesline. What is he going to do? Isn't that a pretty face? Dookie. <laughs> oh, 
Who's afraid of the big black dog? The big black dog. The big black dog. Who's afraid of the big black dog? The big black dog. The big black dog. The rear approach. How does he smell, Duke? <coughs> no. Come on, says, I don't like this noise. <laughs> Charge! Let's see, if he makes it to the door of the girls' room, he'll be able to climb over. No, well, no, he's not going in the house. Dookie! No. I think I'm going to have to rescue this poor animal. Well, here it is two hours later. Duke is in the same because he was molesting the, the turtle. But not just for molesting the turtle. The turtle seems to be doing fine. I had put the turtle in the garden. At the time, of this chicken wire fence protected the garden. But then Duke came over here to the corner, decided to jump on the fence, and tore it apart. I then went to the hardware store, realizing that this fence, the way I had it set up, was not going to suffice. And I got uh, grappas. Grappas, little U-shaped, I don't know what you'd call them in English either, to fasten the wire to the wall, but I can't do it my myself. I have to wait for Margarita to come home from a walk of time. In the meantime, the turtle is wandering about, having a wonderful time. And Duke is just bellowing. So I've lost two hours of my day already. Why? It's my idea to leave the turtle alone or put it in the grass near the road. To have it for the kids. I don't know what the kids are going to do with it. So I've been uh, plugging up the holes underneath the front uh, gate so it wouldn't walk out in the street. It's already knocked over this plant or chewed at it or something. I don't know. Not that it's a great valuable plant, but it's pretty and I don't like my plants destroyed. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, so much for the first day, I hope is the last day of Tomas the tortoise here at Casa Brown Olmedo. I put out some water for it, I don't know if it can reach it, but I've done my civic duty. <laughs>